Hi guys, this is Kelly from Anglis.com and welcome back to our channel. Let's get started with today's lesson. Today, we're going to be learning about negative prefixes that could turn any normal positive word into a negative one. So this could really, really enhance your vocabulary because you can just use these prefixes with most of the English words or the English vocabs that you already have in your glossary and you can add more words by just adding a couple of letters at the start of every word. So one word becomes doubled. So this could really, really, really enhance your vocabulary. So let's get started. So today we're going to be talking about the prefixes that turn any positive word into negative and they are there are mainly 12, but today we're only going to be talking about four. None, un, this, and anti or anti. However you'd like to say it, both are correct. So let's get started with un. So if you have any word that could be like bearable. Bearable is something yuhtamal or bearable is something you can stand, you can uh, live with. You add an un at the beginning and it becomes unbearable. So you can't live with it anymore. You can't stand it anymore. You can't adjust to it. You can't cope with it. It's unbearable. Another word could be fair. So if something is fair, something uh, you have no problem with, it's, uh, it gives you your right and the other person's right, you're happy with it, add an un at the beginning of it and it becomes unfair. So it's not right, it, it doesn't give you your right and whatnot. Another word could be happy. If you're happy, you're smiling, you're, you're joyful, add an un, you become unhappy, you're sad, you're mad, you're angry. You could also add lucky. Today I'm very, very lucky. I feel lucky. I found $50 on the street. Suddenly I add an un and I become unlucky. I lost $50. So these are a couple of words that you can add an un at the beginning of them and they become negative. So it changes the context from positive to negative. The other prefix is none. So it could, uh, something could make sense. So it makes sense, you understand it, it's reasonable. Add it on. It's nonsense, it doesn't make sense. It's not right, it's not reasonable. Another word could be fiction. So something is fiction, it's uh, not true, it's cartoon or it's uh, uh, like science fiction, it's really out of the ordinary and nothing that happens here. We add a non and it becomes non-fiction. So it's true. It's, uh, it happens in real life. It's realistic. Another word could also mean stop. You stop. You finish doing something or you stop doing something. Add a non and it becomes non-stop. So you keep on doing, doing, doing it like I'm doing. I'm talking non-stop. So the third prefix we have for today is this. Also, like other... Uh, Prefixes, this changes any positive word to a negative. For example, we could use appear. Appear is for you to come out of something or for something to be shown in front of you. Add this, disappear. It's gone. You can also use agree. So if you agree with something, you are saying yes to it. Add this, it becomes disagree. You're not saying yes to it. You're saying no. You can also use like. I like something. I like bananas. All of a sudden, I dislike bananas. So the fourth and last prefix for today is anti or anti. Anti or anti, literally from its word, it says the opposite of something. So for example, if I say anti or anti-social, I mean, I am not a social person. I do not like talking to people. I do not like mingling with others. I just prefer to be alone. I am anti or anti-social. You can also use it with anti or antibiotics for medicine. You can use an anti or antivirus and much, much more. So this is our lesson for today. See you guys next time. Bye.